Good morning, everybody. This is Damon Bond, uh, Bond Realty Group, licensed real estate brokers in the state of Connecticut and New York. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, welcome to Real Talk, where we talk about uh, real estate issues uh, that may affect someone you know or yourself personally. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me at dbond011 at gmail.com. That is dbond011 at gmail.com. Or you always give me a call, 203-394-8123, 203-394-8123. Welcome to Real Talk, everybody. Um, this is today is December uh, December fifth, uh, Thursday, December fifth, two thousand nineteen. All right. So today I want to talk about a topic that's not sexy. Um, that's not. Um, you know, it's not sexy. It's kind of bland, but it's very, very, very extremely important in the home buying process. So I don't do this to give views. I do this because you know I believe information should be passed, um, so that way we can better better our fellow uh, person, better better our fellow man and woman. All right. So then we'll talk about the walkthrough. All right. Yes, I know it's probably a dry subject, but you know something. Um, I always thought walkthroughs were dry subjects too. And I've been a real estate uh, a salesperson for about 14 years now. Right? I've been in the business uh, seven years as a as a real estate uh, agent and seven years as a real estate uh, broker. And I've had my own company for uh, you know the past uh, five years of that seven years more than that. In any case, though, the walkthrough. What is the walkthrough? The purpose of the walkthrough is all right. So you're in the contract. You're about to close, right? So usually what happens is uh, the buyer who's purchasing the property from the seller, uh, their agent will schedule a walkthrough. And the purpose of the walkthrough is to go through the house to make sure that, you know, the house, the things agreed upon the contract are there. All right. So let's say, for example, there were some chandeliers, right, uh, that were to be included in the sale or appliances that, you know, need to be included in the sale. You would do the walkthrough to make sure that those appliances or those, um, you know, fixtures are indeed there. All right. That the seller did not take them out with you. All right. So that's the purpose of the walkthrough to make sure that whatever issues, um, you know, need to be resolved, whatever things are going to be fixed are fixed. So is this to see that the property is either intact, the property was improved according to real estate contract. All right. And that nothing is in defect. So that is the purpose of the walkthrough. All right. And usually the walkthrough is done anywhere between the day of closing, you know, um, to 48 hours before closing, depending on the availability of the buyer and or uh, real estate agent, the buyer's agent. That's the purpose of the walkthrough. All right. And pretty much usually they're mundane things. Right. If the house is vacant. Um, you know, if, you know, the house is vacant, you just pretty easy going. Um, you know, the house was full of stuff in there when, you know, the house went in the contract, we want to make sure those things been moved out. All right. I've been with the walkthroughs where literally, uh, they were still moving stuff out. The moving truck was there. They were moving stuff out. Okay. The day of closing. So I've been through, I've seen it all. All right. But one thing I didn't see, and this is why I wanted to do this because, in my, you know, 14 years, whatever it is, as a real estate uh, professional, is the first time I've seen something like this. And it's a true story. Uh, a young lady was buying, first time home buyer was purchasing a property, okay, up in Connecticut. And uh, the house is vacant, right? And so we, uh, you know, we've been in the house a few times. You know, we, we did it for the initial, uh, we went there. Uh, then we saw it again, um, you know, during the inspection. All right, so we've been here a few times. It was vacant and it was no... Um, there was no confusion of what was going to be excluded, what was going to be included. All that's been worked out. Okay. So um, what happened was um, we were going to schedule a walkthrough, right? And that was no problem. And uh, all of a sudden, I got a uh, email and a phone call from the listing agent of the property because I was representing a buyer. The other individual was representing a seller. And he said, Damon. I said, yes. He said, uh, there may be a slight problem. I said, what is that? Well, as it turns out, the seller went to the property just to check on some general things, you know, check mail and whatnot, you know, some very mundane, minute stuff. And he smelled oil in the basement. He smelled oil because it was an oil tank in the basement. He smelled oil. So he went down there and it was an oil leak. And so uh, he immediately called the oil company and they came out and plugged it and so forth. They plugged the hole up and what have you. And what they had to do was take the oil tank out. Now, this was like... Two days before closing, something like that. All right. Um, and then the um, yeah, so that's and then the seller, the buyer 
went over, just happened to go over that evening, and she saw, you know, the police trucks out there, the fire trucks or whatnot, you know, what have you, because taking out an oil, oil tank, you know, is a environmental thing, so you got to be, you know, very careful with that. And, um, you know, this is why walkthroughs are very, very, very important, you know, because she just happened to go there because she was getting some mail, uh, because she switched, you know, she was moving from a different state, she switched things or whatnot to go there, so she's just making sure that none of her mail was there yet, if it was, she just wanted to, you know, get it. So the bottom line is, that's why walkthroughs are extremely, uh, extremely important for that reason, um, because, you know, I've seen with things where, Something was written in where, you know, there was a dispute about the refrigerator. If the refrigerator wasn't taken, the buyers wanted the refrigerator, the sellers wanted to take the refrigerator, right? So that's why walkthrough is important. Um, I don't care if it's a bank-owned property. I don't care if it's a commercial property. Um, I don't care if it's, you know, regular old, you know, primary residential property. Walkthroughs are extremely important, uh, and it's something that they shouldn't be taken lightly. Because the reason why is this. Once you do, once you sign the paperwork, all right, and you didn't do that walkthrough, it becomes your headache. All right. If you don't do that walkthrough and the, so the issues can be addressed. OK, it becomes your headache. It becomes a you problem. And I don't want to see anybody affected by that. OK, so walkthroughs are something very simple, but it's something that is very, very necessary. So I advise you. All right. Um, no matter what part of the country is, I've, obviously I focus on New York and Connecticut because that's where I'm licensed to practice. Um, but no matter what part of the country you're in. OK, I don't care if you're in Florida or, you know, or you know, California, whatever it is. Walkthroughs are vital. OK, walkthroughs are very important. So I hope you found this very useful. OK, so thank you for tuning in to Real Talk. Uh, I'm Damon Bond, a Bond Realty Group, licensed real estate broker in the states of Connecticut, New York. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email me at dbond011 at gmail.com. That is dbond. 011 at gmail.com. You can always give me a call. I'm a real person. Uh, 203-394-8123. 203-394-8123. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, be safe, be warm, and be at peace. Have a wonderful day.